Hello and welcome to an update to the color swap shader where I've added support for sprites and in this uh, little demo you will see that I've created new colors for this character and you can see that quite easily with the, the overall effect slider here to bring in the new colors. You can go halfway, you can go full way, whatever you want. And as you can see it's already uh, color picked the detected colors that you need to change the trousers, the jacket, the bag, the face and the hair. You'll notice that I've tried to keep the colors quite um, distance in terms of hue so that it's easy to de detect uh, and make new colors. So let's check out this one. Uh, you can see I've detected the skin tone and changed the skin tone somewhere darker so it's quite easy to make new tones. And the same for the, uh, the hair here. Okay, and so on and so forth. So in order to set this up, all you need to do is bring in your sprite. And when you bring in your sprite, it will come in with a material when you apply it to like a plane. And you have to make sure that your sprite is let me just see this one. You have to make sure your sprite is set up in this way. Alpha is transparent um, because if you don't, you'll get. Oh, maybe that's fine. Um, but anyway, I've got transparency in the texture there, and even though the shader does clip away the the alpha, it's just a good idea to keep it transparent checked. Uh, don't have any map maps or anything like that. Change the filter mode to point, otherwise you'll get this kind of weirdness uh, and also turn the compression off because if it's like this then you'll get uh, sometimes you'll get like colors bleeding into the other like this you can actually see the compression uh, there if you change it to high quality you'll still get a little bit so it's better to change that to none I mean it's a very low res sprite anyway uh, this is just a clamp for the maximum size so 2048 is fine, you know, if you're using sprites smaller, I don't think it's going to change the file size in any way, unless it's smaller than the actual sprite. I've changed it to that, and it's 16 kilobytes. Um, 256, it's still the same size, so 2K, still 16 kilobytes. The only way it's going to change is if you go smaller, and then you're losing detail there. So just make sure that you leave that, 2K it's fine, and these settings are what you have. So it will create a material um, when you bring it in, and you just have to make sure that you're using the color swap sprite, color swap shader instead of like the default one. Um, I'll just change this one, color swap sprite default you see it's just using default spray it's not getting the new colors um, so that's because this is where the magic happens and you just uh, detect your colors it, it supports up to five colors at the minute uh, so it's good to separate your spray into five really really well defined colors maybe a couple of tones because you can use this uh, you know the range to help uh, get some of the neighboring tones but you have to watch because it will detect any pixel on your sprite it doesn't care about where it is it doesn't know what it is so you just have to make sure your colors are predefined pretty well in your original sprite and then it's really easy to change colors so i hope you like this little video and i hope that you can also you know give any feedback to make a, any improvements i'll be making versions of the, the shaders that support more colors. So these ones support up to five. Uh, the basic one supports three at the minute because it's just really, you know, bog standard basic. Very good for like um, low poly stuff with a few colors on the texture. Um, I've also tried this out with the Cinti stuff and it works really well. So you'll see that in one of the demo videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, there's also a scene in here of, let's see, there's a couple of scenes. 
for the web demo. You can try out the web demo on the the actual channel where you can change some of these colors up. There's the the main scene here where I've done variations using the different um, let's choose that, you know, using the different shader setup. So this is like the simple one and I've also crunched the texture down. I've made a copy of the texture and changed the resolution to give it that kind of old school look. Um, and these ones I've changed up to look like ice, fire, uh, just an enhanced one, enhanced another one. I think this is the original actually. Yeah, this is the original one. And you can see how I've managed to replace the colors of it to these other ones. This is a kind of, uh, you know, famous guy. I can't say his name. Um, that's also enhanced version, fire, ice, and so on. So I hope you enjoyed this little demo and hope you enjoy using this uh, color swapper shader. It'll give you loads of variation on stuff you've got in your, your um, project already. Uh, works for 3D models, supports uh, the metal gloss workflow and gives you some extra control over things. And uh, obviously the sprite one is the new addition which I'm really excited about. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.